feeling alone, right? You're tired and you can't take this pain anymore. It has taken over your life and every bright light or happiness that tries to overcome the sadness. Every day is no different and it's just the same old pain as yesterday. There is no reason to wake up, as you think. Tonight is the night. You are done. The voices told you enough that the world would be better without you. You believe them. You just got off the bus. You were thinking about how that was your last bus ride ever. You walk home and now you're preparing yourself. No one's home today. Your parents are at work and your little brother is at a friend's house. It's six now. It's time. You grab the rope, the stool, and the camera. This is really it, you think to yourself. You turn on the camera, step on the stool, and put the rope on your neck. You look at the camera and say, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I love you, mom and dad and baby brother. I tried, but I couldn't survive. Goodbye. You're gone. You were gone forever. Your family comes home. Your brother runs upstairs to give you a hug like normal. Only this time he comes to see you dead, hanging from the ceiling. Mom, he screams. Your mom runs upstairs to see what's wrong. She falls to the ground. She can't believe her eyes. Her daughter is dead. Her beautiful daughter is gone. Her first thought is why? Now your dad calls the cops crying, barely getting out the words, my daughter killed herself. Your dad never cries. The ambulance comes to take you away. You're never coming back. This is it. It's the next day. Your family is so confused on what to do. They don't know how to explain to your five-year-old brother that you are in heaven now. All of your friends are so confused on why you did this. Weren't you the girl who smiled for everyone and made your, everyone laugh? Guess not. A week has gone by. People are grieving. Grief counselors came into school to talk to the students. No one is the same. Your death affected everyone. How will the world go on? Five years have gone by. Your brother is now 10. He tells all his friends about you because he misses you. He tells them that he will see you soon. No one has forgot you and no one will ever forget you. Suicide is a horrible way to go. It affects everyone, even people who have never talked to you. We all deserve to be here and I love you all so much. Suicide is permanent and painful and temporary. Stay strong.